Welcome to another Team Solomon Circus Live Today we're going over Flanderies versus Pure Punk. So with a new set of uh, Power of the Elements, we're going to see Punk, you know, making a splash. They're going to start off by normal summoning his Yaman, activating the effect, paying 600 here. Searching for uh, Deer Note. Activating Foster Tomb, discarding itself, and then for, um, for effect, discarding the Ogre. So summoning out, I believe this is the fish thing. No, this is a new, different one. Or maybe that's Madame Spider. Anyway, I was going to search for the new field spell. And then we're going to activate Ogre here. Searching for the fish one. Going to banish Ogre to summon out fish. Fish effects going to activate. F uh, fusion summoning into the fish guy. Going to activate fish effect. To get a deer note as well as I think that one is Madame Spider. It's one anyway. Yeah, that's Madame Spider. Searching out for the trap, which is just an imperm. Then activating the effect here to draw one. Going to synchro summon into the amazing punk dragon. Such a beautiful card. Actually, I think that's a new punk dragon. Then fish is going to be... Uh, special summon out, and then you're going to be able to add in Ghost Ogre. You know, amazing versus Flanderies. Linking both those way into a Hulk. Hulk effects going to summon out the... Um, Valor here. Is this Selene? No, it's not. It's going to be summoning out the Crocolus Dragon to draw another card. Setting one, setting two, and passing. Um, I don't even know what's, what's really going on. At least for this, I'm going to know what's going on. No, so we can see a normal summon of Rabina. Sorry for the glare there. Activating the effect here. Adding the Stree. Normal summoning the Stree. Hulk effects want to activate. Uh, Stree is going to be targeting the the new Punk Dragon. We're going to banish Hulk for cost. Summon out the um, formula. We're going to normal summon. I believe that is the Barrier Statue. Or that's Eaglin. My bad. It's going to get um, impermed here. We're going to activate Advent to banish it to add a card. It's going to be the map. And then we're going to be able to add the M pen here off the Eaglin. M pen is going to be normal summoned, activating the effect. Alex here has to just read the read the card. Croc is going to activate, discarding the ogre and the gamma to pop it. And Penn is still going to search for the Dreaming Town here. Can activate the map. Setting what we consume is a Dreaming Town and two sets. So here we see we're going to synchro summon those way into, I believe that's a, another punk. And does that shuffle back or banish? I'm not too sure. We see Dreaming Town be activated here. Getting to normal summon the Eaglin, activate the effect, chaining the. Um, I guess it pops too. Am I bad? Am I bad? It pops a bunch. Here, Eaglin's gonna activate, searching for the M pen. Then going to be normal summoning the uh, the stree. Here, just reading over a bunch of the punk cards. 
uh, Stree is going to be banishing the M Pen and Graveyard. Going to um, tribute them both off for the other M Pen. Then Egan's going to activate his Chain Link 2, as well as Dreaming Town's going to activate to flip all of Alex's monsters face down. Searching for the Advent. And having a loaded hand and still being able to play. We're going to search the, off the Rabina that was normal summon the a barrier statue, then we're going to normal summon the barrier statue. We're going to tribute summon the set for a Deer Note. Deer Note is going to end ba enter battle phase and attack into the uh, the barrier statue. And here that level three is gonna be summoned out. Adding, uh, or Xeon is gonna be added, special summoning, or adding the Foxy. Sinkering off into Pega Ruler here. Pega Ruler is going to activate, as well as Deer Note as Chain Link 2 targeting the Diamond. Here we're going to see a bunch being milled, and then going into with the Diamond as well as the Punk going into the. Uh, the Psychic and Punisher, Garbage Lord is going to be special summoned here, paying 2,000. Destroying itself. And then we're going to see a banishment of Light and Dark for Pega Ruler. Foxy Toon is going to be special summoned out by discarding one card. And we're going to see a simple pass. Gonna activate the um, town as well as the unexplored winds. Card absolutely crazy, not once per turn effect. Gonna activate the effect, going to Ghost Ogre it. Going to normal summon, activate the effect of Stree in the graveyard. As well as Eaglin searching for the Apex Avion. The normal summon searching for uh, Rubina searching for a little bird. Little birds can activate. Then we activate. A, what is going on here? Grabbing the winds off the M pen. Not the wind. Adding the uh, adding the map off the M pen. Going to tribute summon off the psychic end for the um, Apex Avion. You know, being able to clear most of the board here. And yeah, we're just gonna scoop it up. So game one goes to Flanderies. Even with those, uh, even with barrier statues, it's interesting because. Punk deck does have a lot of, uh, of wins, so they can just keep going. Sorry about the glare that's going on on the Flanderies player. I'm not quite sure what's, what's going on with some of these cards. I know that a lot of them have to do with the matte, the matte finish as well as where the, the light is. Just unfortunate we're not able to do our videos all at the same spot anymore. We see dark rulers look like they're being kept in and one Artemis Slay being sided. As well as three Raigekis, so that means that Flanders is most likely thinking they're going to be made to go go second, which definitely makes sense in my mind. I would not want to let that deck go first. I 
I definitely think the Punk Therion deck is like super interesting and super fun. I uh, I don't even really know about the this, this new Punk. The Punk cards themselves are like extremely linear. Um, so you're gonna see the Punk. I start off going off with these Yaman. I've been the effect. That's going to get or going to respond to with a shifter here. You know, still paying these 600 and going to get to search. That's getting Ash Blossomed as well. We're going to activate e -Tilly here. Looks like he was going to get the fish guy out. He chooses to still get the fish guy out. Reading the fish guy. Yep, going with that guy. Then going to fusion summon into the fish, actually the effect of the fish. Now making sure it doesn't have to go to graveyard. Deer note as well as the one that searches for a spell, which is going to be the field spell, which is an absolutely crazy card. All the cards from Mystic Fighters, or not Mystic Fighters, the Adventure set is a crazy. The Punk strategy as uh, he's getting some better cards with the Field Spell. Um, we're going to see another Ogre being searched. Um, the Adventure cards were already being powerful, but getting like stuff like Leal Knight, I mean, it is a good card, but it's not great. And then we see uh, cards like Martha for the Exo Sisters. That set just is insane. Let's see a prosperity being activated here. Unfortunately, we see an ash blossom, and that's really it. The only card that's not being glared. We see a duality being activated here. Cards all being glared out. As I believe that was in a toucan. We do see a map in the hand, so map and toucan is full combo. It's not Mystic Fighters, it's Grand Creators. That's the card that's the set that's absolutely cracked. Definitely worth investing into. We're gonna see the normal one being met with an imperm here. But will that shut down the entire deck? It will not because he still has his normal summon off the regular normal summon. Here, adding back all the flanderies and getting that input on the field. Searching for the Dreaming Town here is going to be huge. Entering battle phase, banishing to half the attack. You're going to see the field still being activated here. Normal summoning these Yaman. Dreaming Town's going to... Oh, no. He's just thinking about it. Don't use the Dreaming Town. Activate the, the Field Spell. Activating the Field Spell here. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Being able to Normal Summon the Eaglin. Uh, or... I think that's an Eaglin. It perhaps... Yeah, Eaglin. We get Ghost Ogre here, but we're getting the Ryza as well. Then we're going to see the uh, M pen being tributed off for a Ryza. Ryza is going to activate. And uh, yeah, bouncing some cards. Fox Tune is going to activate, discarding itself and the um, Valor. Flu is going to be doing some flu stuff. Does not look too good right now for the uh, for the player here. You know, getting a search for the ogre. Ogre is a great card, but not not enough to beat Flo. I think getting the draw one off the field spell, activating ogre, getting out the deer note. I mean, that will be able to get into a 
uh, Synchro 8, but is it enough? Getting for a Pe Ruler, going for, you know, as much as we can. We do see a Veiler here, great card, as well as a bunch of stuff at the graveyard. And Deer Note summoned back the Ogre, so we're able to go into a rank 8. I guess it was not the... My bad, it was not a Ogre, it was the level 3. Going into a Psychic and Punisher... Then uh, Papegra will activate, banishing light and the dark summon itself out. Enter battle phase. Going to crash into the two can as well as activating the effect. And that's going to be game for the punk player. You know, scooping it up. Now going into the game three is going to be quite difficult because they have like so many cards, just so great. Um, I don't think punk can play with no monster effects. So if we do get the pull off that uh, Featherstorm, it's going to be game over. As well as if they're playing D-Barrier, call Synchro, they're pretty much out of the water. You know, no festival for fun for them. I think it's kind of difficult when you don't really know what your opponent is playing. Like, You can pretty much see that the Punk deck is just another Synchro Pile deck, which is... You know, not not horrible, definitely good, um, but just it offers a lot more thought. Like D barrier shuts it down rather than like with Punk Therion, you have the Therion stuff as well. And the Punk Adventure, but I will say that Field Spell is really good. Pretty much upstart Goblin. What do you guys think of Ultimate Slayer? We did see it as a one of in the Flandria deck. Um, I think we're going to see that card a lot more. It's pretty crazy. You know, you have Entis for Fusions, Omega for Synchro. We're going to see the Pot of Prosperity being activated. Even with, uh, like, I can't think of great um, XYZs to send, but you even have Toad. You know, send Toad, Toad Effect, Return Toad. Kind of crazy. Unlimited, you know, totally awesomes to send. Definitely not bad. Even for links, you have like Trouble Sunny as well as like, uh... oh, we're going to see a pass from the Flanderies player here. That's not good. Not good at all. Punk's going to be able to play a board, you know, getting the, um, getting just full combo pretty much with just e-teleport. Uh, we're going to go with the Xiamen, going into Deer Note, blah, 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 going into the um, Pepega Ruler. Pepega, uh, Deer Note's going to summon back the Xiamen. We're going to mill a whole bunch. We're going to activate Ogre here. Summoning out. Setting out the, the one that searches the spell here. Activating the effect, paying six to search for the spell. The field spell, absolutely cracked. Going to synchro both of those away. Licking those both away into Hal. Hal effect's going to activate. Summoning out the Ash Blossom. Um, banishing a light in the dark. To get out the Pega Ruler. Synchroing both of those away into the um, amazing dragon. Then we're going to get to summon out the ogre. Going those two into the psychic and punisher. And that's going to be game. So we see Flanderies being taken down. That bird flock is just done. Beaten by punk. Pure punk. And that's game. See you in the next one.